earlier with our friend Paige Feller. Yes. And you are going to be doing an interview with her coming up here maybe sometime in October? Possibly. So she is incredibly busy right now. She's touring the Eastern Seaboard with her new point whenever it fits into her schedule. She took the time to, to talk to a bunch of kids. Instead of kicking us out, he came in and talked to us. Such a way to give us an escape park. He let skateboarders build up the very first one that was in the, in the parking lot. And the uh, family, Charles Barrett, thank you. Let's now hear a round of applause. Now he is putting the and I, I'm inspired by what he did 30 years ago.
extra bases. Matt Williams and I put on this event <clears throat> for the Troy skate park and I'm losing my voice from it it was awesome it worked out really well um, but all I'm really trying to do is get the city of Troy to recognize we need a, a new skate park you know this is a modular a modular scenario metal ramps it's you know close to 20 years old and you know I don't think it, it reflects what skateboarders really want and I've been a skateboarding my whole life, and I want to get back to my community <clears throat> and my home, my hometown. So um, I'm just going to keep doing this until the city it's it's on the city radar. You know, I think a lot of times when skaters want to get involved in their community and do a skate park, you have to have an open mind to uh, think outside of uh, what I like to call skate brain. Uh, skate brain is. Uh, <clears throat> it puts a, a block on a lot of things when you're trying to think about a broad perspective and getting a skate park built. So you got to think about the fact that you're trying to get this idea. You're trying to sell the idea of a skate park to the community, not a skater. So um, that's all I really want to stress. Um, 
is just if you want to do something in your hometown for a skate park you don't wait around for somebody to, to do it you just have to to get involved and and get motivated and be persistent and that's it you know so we had a lot of a lot of local businesses you know some of which are our old skater friends of mine who own these businesses um, and you just got to reach out so anyway anybody who came out to this i appreciate it high fives and until next time cheers thank you thank you, thank you matt thanks